<laughs> there was another sound in the air at our next destination. A sound that in its own way was also music to the ears of the people there. <laughs> Greetings from the Threshing Bee, an antique engine show held in Vista in northern San Diego County. Now, if you're into old steam engines, or old tractors, or old caterpillars, or any other kind of old steam-driven contraptions that huff and puff and put out smoke rings, you'd love this show. It all takes place on the grounds of the Antique Gas and Steam Engine Museum, and people come here from all over for an up-close and personal look at these wonderful old machines. Now, what's going on over here? Well, we're shelling a little corn today. Shelling corn. corn. Dried corn in the cob. Uh -huh. This is veal corn. This is a 1919 model John Deere number two corn sheller. Uh huh. That means it takes two cobs at a time. <laughs> Boy, that works, doesn't it? Yes, sir. What do you use a machine like this for, really? Well, for things like this, running this mortising machine, or uh, for pumping water, or for grinding corn, you, anything you can hook the belt up to, uh -huh. you can run a machine with it. Now, how old is this machine? That's the same age I am, 1928. <laughs> well, you both look to me like you're holding up pretty good. Better paint on this one, though. <laughs> now, I've got to ask, why would somebody be interested in having an antique concrete mixer? Well, because I built my house with it 50 years ago. That's great. <laughs> that's, so. the, that's the same one? Yeah, sure. All you gotta do is have a lot of energy and a lot of lose your marbles, and uh, you can put them back the way they were when they were original. Now we're standing in front of a, what kind of boiler is this? This is a vertical fire tube boiler. This is a Navy surplus uh, piece of equipment. Well, so fun. this is bought for with taxpayer money. Well, <laughs> it was originally paid for with taxpayer money. Now but... you got this thing, can we open it up and take a look at it? There is a real fire in there. Whoa! And that's what's making the big wheel turn around. That's correct. This is the fire that boils the water that makes the steam that turns the wheel. Now, this is a famous caterpillar, right. isn't it? Right. The last one from the Panama Canal. From the Panama Canal? Yeah. Yes. Well, this really is unique, though, isn't it? I mean, you got something that nobody else has. The only one left. That's it. This is the only one only, left? Only one. I think it's your toy, isn't it? Oh, yes, indeed. Why are you nodding like yes, that? Yes, yes. <laughs> That's his toy. How much time does he spend out in the garage tinkering on these things? Just about all the time. Really? Yeah. Well, at least you know he's not yeah. getting in any kind of trouble. Yeah, I know where he is. <laughs> I'll put it that way. <laughs> By and large, they are just toys. It's my hobby. <laughs> I have a good time doing it. Now, do you pass this knowledge on to anyone else, or...? I'm a high school metal shop teacher. Oh, well, your students must love you. I hope so. That's, wow, that's, that's one of the aims of my projects here, is to inspire students. So you restored this whole thing yourself? Right. Why? Well, my old man got me into it, I guess. Uh -huh. He's got 19 of them at home. These other three are his. We just, it's a hobby. You've got 19 tractors yeah. in your backyard? We sure do. <laughs> what does your backyard look like? Well, yeah, tractor yard. <laughs> now, what are you telling your kids about all these uh, these tractors here today? Well, there's not much I have to tell them. They, they know pretty much about them. We own tractors ourselves. So you have tractors. You live on a farm? No, not at all. I live in a beach community at it on just a regular uh, residential street, 50 by 100 foot lot. And you have, uh, you have tractors there? Six tractors, that's right. Why? Wow. Uh, I'm trying to bring farming back to the beach community. <laughs> How old is this thing? 1918, international. Well, it still runs pretty good. It still runs very well. We had it completely restored when we got it. Now, what's going on around here? Well, this is a early John Deere hay press. A hay press? Hay press, yes. It's not a hay baler, it's a hay press. You get a lot of comments from people on this thing? What do they say to you when they see it? Well, they want to know, does it really work? <laughs> Usually, does it really work? And it does, it works real well. Well, it may not look modern, but it sure does look nice, doesn't it? 
Well, we'll see in a few more years how many of these new modern balers are still working. <laughs> what do you think the appeal is of all this old, uh, this old equipment? I don't know, just something about Everybody it. Everybody likes it, I think. Uh -huh. I think everyone likes to see the old things that we used to have that are still running. Well, this was my interest in my life. Really? Well, that's why I'm here. I love this stuff. Now, does this bring back good memories or memories of having to work real hard? Oh, no, there was never hard work on a farm. It was all fun. I just part of living. <laughs> just part of living. The threshing bee, an antique engine show in Vista. It's as American as apple pie. An honest-to-goodness, old-fashioned, down-home celebration. A celebration of old steam-driven engines and machines. And of California's proud agricultural past. Well, that's the end of our very first program, and already we've traveled a lot of miles and met a lot of nice people. People I'd like to thank for sharing their stories with all of us. Of course, I'd like to thank all of you for watching and invite you to tune in again next time as we continue our search for California gold. Goodbye. Bye. Here we go. <laughs>part of being a steam engine man is getting to blow the whistle, right? Right. We, we blow the whistle, and somebody goes to work early and he blows the whistle to wake the people up and get them to come to work. They blow the whistle to stop for a uh, coffee break, and they blow the whistle to stop for lunch, and then they blow it at the end of the day so they can go home. Well, let's blow the whistle. Okay, here we go. <laughs>